hey guys it's your girl leah here back again with another video for you guys so as you guys can see by the title you already know what i'm about to be doing honey yes today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this beautiful lash flyer that i just made and i thought it was super beautiful and i know you guys would love to see it so that's why i made it for you guys because i know you guys are interested in these type of videos and it's also helping to like teach you guys and also i'm learning at the same time so this is pretty good for the both of us let's just get right into this tutorial i'm gonna show you guys like what it looks like so we're gonna go on to my photo album and this is it right here it's not that hard but it does look hard <laughs> a bit so i'm gonna try to remember everything that i put into this and yeah we're just gonna begin with it okay so the first thing that i did was i went on to fonto and then i clicked on plain image and i changed the size to a flyer size i saw on the internet it was 1275 by 1650 done and this is the size here we're gonna change the color and the first color that we'll be putting is white then the second color will be the middle pink it'll be the second pink so we're just gonna apply it and we're gonna click on use then we're going to save image once the image the image is saved what i did was i went on to okay let's see i downloaded the glitter background the metallic silver background the metallic pink background and also the glitter pink background so that's what i downloaded from safari so once i searched for what i was looking for which is the metallic pink background the ones that i saved was this one it's the one that i used once i got this one the second one that i used was a silver so i'm going to change pink and i'm going to put silver and the one that i used was the first one so i saved the first one and yeah it came directly to my photo album okay i'm gonna go into shiny so after that let's see i downloaded the we're gonna change it to glitter glitter silver background search and it was the first one that i saved and after that i take i'm gonna take off silver and i'm gonna replace it with pink and the background that i saved was a real light pink not too dark so i'm just gonna go on all let me click on this one no oh, it's not popping up but it's the same color as this one click on light and it was a pink background like this one but i'm not finding the exact one so i don't know why it's not giving it to me but it was something like that okay there it is it was one like this so you guys could save this pink and yeah that's basically what i downloaded from safari once i've got what i needed okay i also downloaded the lashes as well so what i did was i searched for pink lash box with png and this is how i found it like i scrolled through i clicked on the one that i thought was really pretty and it'll go directly with the team so that's how i found it and i also typed in pink lash box so i'm gonna take off lash box and i'm going to put lash brush and there were so many to choose from but the one that i chose was this one since it was already png and it goes perfectly with the team as you guys can see it looks super great where it is and yeah once that is done now we're gonna pass on to pix art so once we're in pix art we're gonna click on the pink background great and now we're gonna start adding the essentials to create this web well to create this flyer what i'm gonna do is i'm going to click on text i'm gonna type in lash i'm just gonna leave it how it is i'm gonna place it like right here bring it down just a bit more create this around that size we're gonna bring it on to here like this and we're gonna click on color texture and we're gonna replace it with the glitter background then we're just gonna click on stroke we're gonna leave the stroke just how it is and we're gonna replace it with a white one once that's done we're gonna go on to shadow and we're just gonna leave it directly how it is we're not gonna touch it or anything now we're gonna write extension so the capital e great and then i'm gonna change the font so we're gonna go into font recents and the font that i used was i might just put it on the screen so you guys can see what i'm talking about so i'm gonna click on it and then i'm gonna click on color texture i'm gonna change the texture to the pink background then i'm gonna click on stroke 
the white and then i'm just going to shadow it then i'm just going to place it where i want it to be so i'm going to make it a little smaller bring it up just a bit make it a little bit smaller again like this is perfect let's make sure i'm doing the right thing so i'm going to add shadow to it so we're going to click on shadow and we're going to change the color to white great and we're going to leave it just like this great once that's done i went on to stickers and i was looking for lashes i just typed in lashes and this was the one that i found this cute little pink one that was just chilling by on its own so i'm just gonna place that there like that and then i'm going to like make it smaller tilt it to the other side a little bit great so once that is done the next thing i did i'm just gonna add book appointment i'm just gonna put book appointment today directly so i'm gonna click on text and i'm gonna write it book book appointment today so let's see what is given i'm going to change the font to this one and then i'm going to make it a little smaller just place it right beneath extension great i'm going to change the background color texture and then i'm going to put the glitter background that i told you guys about which was something like this great then i'm going to add stroke put it in white and then i'm going to add shadow as well shadow turn up the opacity turn down the blur to 10 and or should i leave it up no i'm gonna put it down to 10 or even 20 great and then i'm going to add and then i'm going to change the color of the shadow to white okay i'll have to position it position the shadow so i'm gonna go back on to position and i'm gonna put it in the middle great so i'm gonna leave it just how it is i'm just gonna put it up a bit great once that's done i'm going to add flash sale so i'm going to click on text and i'm going to add flash sale so the font is called archivo black so that's what i use for most of the text in this flyer so i'm going to change the color to the, well, the texture to the glitter and then i'm going to add stroke in white and then i'll be adding shadows so we're going to go on to shadow turn up the opacity and we're going to put this shadow in white so i'm going to go onto shadow and i'm gonna click on color and i'm gonna change the color to white and i'm just gonna place it like right underneath book appointment today what i'm gonna do is i'm going to adjust the position just like this great so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm going to add these cute little butterfly little things that you guys see above in the corners so i'm gonna go into stickers i basically just found it by scrolling through on the discover page but i also saved it i'm gonna show you guys you guys could like follow me on pixart and then you guys will see like everything that i used so you guys will find it easier because i really don't know the name of it so i'm sorry for that so i'm just gonna go into my recents hopefully i find it sticker okay there it is and i'm just gonna place it just exactly how it is i'm gonna go up great and then i'm gonna add another one there it is and i'm going to flip it by clicking on flip rotate and i'm gonna click on the third one and i'm just gonna place it in the next corner like this so now i'm gonna click on text and i'm just gonna add a little well you could call it the business name but it really doesn't have a name at all but i'm just gonna like act like that's a name so let me see what i put i put lash extension presents great so i'm just gonna type lash extensions present so hey guys i'm back i had to cut off the video short because the baby had got up so i couldn't have continued the video so now that we're back on i'm going to go back to where we were at okay so yeah let's get right back into it i'm gonna show you guys like where we stopped off which was right here so we're gonna go back on to pix art so i'm gonna go on to pix art once we're in pix art just gonna click on resume the last um project that i was creating which was this so now i'm going to click on text and i was writing like lash extensions presents i'm just gonna make it look like that's the logo but you guys could like put your own logo to it so i'm going to put lash extensions and then i'm going to go at the bottom line and put presents since there won't be a lot of place to put um presents at the end so presents great and then i'm going to click on the check sign i'm going to put a simple a simple font which will be a font that i also downloaded from the font.com so we're gonna go on to font click on the little arrow then we're gonna go into my fonts 
and we're going to use the font Ameline Trial. This is my favorite and then I'm going to change the color to like the gray color which could pass with the silver you know. So I'm going to put place this right gray here in the middle and then I'm going to make it smaller and bring it up just a bit more great so i'm gonna leave it like this which is lash extensions present so the next thing that we'll be adding i'm going to add the little pink lashes i think i showed you guys how to get it i think so yeah i downloaded from the i downloaded from safari what i typed in was pink lash box png and this was the one i found i think i showed you guys that and i also found the little brush so we're gonna add the little uh, pink box first so i'm going to go on to photos then i'm going to add it and i'm going to place it right there where i want it to be i'm gonna leave that there and now we're gonna move on to something else which will be the little pink rectangles that you guys see at the bottom we're gonna do that so i'm going to add photo and i'm going to add this back color background right here then i'm going to click on crop and i'm going to crop it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it a little smaller and i'm going to place it in the middle open it up a bit more in the middle gray and then i'm going to add a shadow to it shadow and i'm going to put white and then i'm going to position it in the middle great so that's what i did for all of them and for the two others that i added as well so now i'm going to show you guys how to add the text into this little box so i'm going to show you guys how to add the text into this rectangle right here so i clicked on text and then i put the price let me make sure that, that i'm doing the right thing i'm going to type 50 dollars and then i'm going to put classic set gray the font that i use is called i'm going to go in my recents archivo black and then we're going to change the color texture and we're going to put it in silver and then what we're going to do is we're going to add stroke to it white and also shadow as well turn up the opacity and turn down the shadow the blur to 10 great and then we're just going to place it right in the middle of it just like this and that's basically what i did for the two others as well so now i'm going to show you guys how to do the circle one because i'm not going to be like doing it back over and over i'm just going to like show you guys how i did the circle one as well after doing the two other rectangles like this with the prices i'm going to do the circle ones which will be the fillings because the ones in the rectangles are the set well the full sets and then the ones in the circles are the filling ones i'm going to take the same pink background that i use for this rectangle i'm gonna go on to add photo add the pink and then i'm gonna go all the way to the back scroll all the way to the back and i'm gonna click on shape and then i'm gonna click on circle next with the flesh and then i'm gonna turn down the size to three great save it and then you're just gonna place it right where i placed it like i placed it like right here for example and what I did was I add a photo again and I added the silver background this time. And then I clicked on crop, not crop, shape, circle. And this time we're going to erase the little border around it. Save. And then we're just going to place it right in the middle. So now we're going to just make it a little bit smaller inside of it like this. Great. And then what I did was I added text. So I'm going to put classic fill in three and this time i'm going to change the color and put it in pink once it's in pink i'm going to add stroke white and then i'm going to add shadow turn up the opacity turn down the blur to 10. i'm going to make it smaller and i'm just going to place it right above it and just make it smaller bring it down a bit inside great like that and then for the price i'm going to 30 dollars great and i'm going to put the background i'm going to put the texture as a glitter texture with stroke in white and also shadow as well turn up the opacity turn on the blur to thin make it small and then you just have to place it right at the bottom like this so basically that's what i did it's pretty simple to do and yeah i'm going to come out of pixar now i'm just gonna erase this piece and i'm gonna add the piece that i saved before from the original okay i'm just gonna save it in case great and then i'm gonna go back cancel don't save great 
plus sign and then i'm going to add the background okay so for example here i just after doing all of this it should look something like this every time you're gonna add a circle as you guys can see i add them above one another so i went in order so if you're not going in order it will not be on top one another so just follow these steps and make sure that you're doing it the right way just like this so this is just like one of the old drafts that i had i just wanted to show you guys how to add the little eyelash brush to the side so what i did was i went on to add photos and i added the little brush and i tilt it and place it right in the corner here and then i just add shadow to it as well i didn't like modify or edit anything for the shadow i just left it just how it is and after that what i'm gonna do now is show you guys how i add the little glitter wave at the bottom so i went on to stickers recents it's also something that i found in discover but i will save it to my collection so hopefully you guys can find it in my collection so i'm gonna open this up so basically that's how i did it and i applied it and as you guys can see it's saved so this is pretty cute i love how it came out and i also added like a little bit of glitter as well i went on to brushes once i've applied everything and i used the first glitter that you guys see and i just tapped around to add the glitter i didn't put much i just added like a little bit yeah i think that's everything that i added but the last thing that i noticed that i haven't added into this flyer was the contact information so i'm just gonna put the site at the bottom we're gonna go back onto pixart and apply this and i'm going to type the site at the bottom so you guys could book from there so i'm just gonna type in book lash extension at gmail not gmail dot com great I'm going to open it up all the way in order for being one line and I'm going to change the color. I was thinking of putting it in pink, but let's see how that'll come out. So we're, we're going to texture and the background and we're going to add the pink. Let's see how this goes. Stroke in white and also shadow as well. We're going to turn on the opacity of the shadow and blur down the background to 10. And you guys can like make it small too big and then just place it right at the bottom here like that so it should look something like this so you guys can like make these things a little bit smaller and then you guys could add like your contact information so i'm going to add the website on the original page which is this one i'm going to click on text and then i'm going to put book lash extension dot com i'm going to put the color in pink like i showed you guys or i'm going to put it in a glitter pink color texture let's see about the glitter pink broke in white and then we're going to add shadow as you guys can see the website looked much better with the glitter background i put that in the glitter background because i wanted it to match the little phrase above that says book appointment today so you guys see it like it matches so when they see it and they see another one of it in the same type of texture they'll be like okay it's here i have the book and yeah that's what she's talking about so yeah they're connected and i like that you guys could change the shadow color if you would like it in white as well but i prefer it in black so we could like pop out more and more visible to you guys this is it i'm just gonna adjust it a bit because i think it's like too dark too thick at the back so i'm going to position it like that this is much more better it's not that dark behind and it's still visible so i prefer it like this or i have an idea i'm going to take it off from here delete i'm going to discard this okay we're going to come out of here so i'll be adding this background and then i'm going to add the silver background over it i just came up with this idea so i'm looking for the silver background where could it be okay there it is and we're going to turn it sideways like this and we're going to open it up like this great then we're gonna apply it and leave it like this and now we're gonna add the flyer over it and we're gonna open it up 
all the way like this so is it cute or not do you think i should open it up a little bit more okay guys so i'm gonna leave it like this and then i'm just gonna click on apply so this is how it's looking hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys got through to do it the same way just as how i did make sure to like comment share and subscribe turn on notification bell so you guys can know whenever your girl posts okay and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching bye bye Mwah.